The Works of George Fox Dead Men's Bones C Concerning Purgatory, and Making a God or Christ of the Elements of Bread and Wine Concerning the Traditions the Jews Taught, which made the word and commandment of God of none effect, and the traditions the apostate Christians teach people to follow, and set up above the scriptures of truth. How Christ is the true rock, and not Peter. And that he is the head of the true church, and so to be held by his members. The antiquity of the cross of Christ, which was and is acknowledged to be the power of God by his true church. By G.F. The Lord said, whoever touches the body of a man that is dead, or dies in his tent, and purifies not himself, he defiles the tabernacle of the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from Israel, because it purifies not itself. And whosoever touches any that are slain with the sword in the open field, or a dead body, or the bone of a man, or a grave, shall be unclean seven days, and if he do not purify himself, he shall be cut off from among the congregation, because he has defiled the sanctuary of the Lord. Number 19, 11,13,16 And this was the law of God, and a perpetual statute among the Jews. And now, do you apostate Christians imagine to do miracles with dead men's bones, or the dust of the graves, which defiled the Jews, and they were not to come into God's tabernacle or sanctuary, but to be cut off according to the statute and command of God, if they were not purified. And now if you apostate Christians do allege of the Jews burying a man, and casting him into the sepulchre of Elisha, and when the dead man touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood upon his feet. 2 Kings 13:21. But where was ever such a miracle as this worked by the apostate Christians, by burying one in the grave of another? Let them produce one example if they can. Let all the apostate Christians produce one scripture wherever the saints got the bones of the saints to do miracles by. Of praying to the saints that are dead, and asking counsel of the dead, and praying for the dead. Let all the apostate Christians produce one scripture for their vain tradition of praying for the dead, or to the dead, or asking counsel of the dead. But Saul when he had transgressed the command of God, and disobeyed him, he went to the witch of Endur, pretending to raise up Samuel, to ask counsel of the dead, but what was the end of Saul? You may see in 1 Sam 28 11-20. And David prayed to God while his child was living. But when the child was dead, he gave over praying to God for it, and fasting, and said, Now the child is dead, I cannot bring him back again, I shall go to him, but he shall not come to me. 2 Sam 12 16-23 The grave cannot praise you, death cannot celebrate you, those who go down into the pit cannot hope for your truth. ISA 38 The dead praise not the Lord. Psalm 115 17 And yet do not you pray to the dead, that cannot praise the Lord? And Solomon said, The dead know not anything. ECC 9 5 and yet do not you pray to those who know not anything? Is not that madness? Concerning the apostate Christians' tradition of a purgatory, after they are dead. Solomon said, All turns to dust again, and who knows the spirit of man that goes upward? And the spirit shall return unto God that gave it, so then not into purgatory. Echel 3 colon 20-21, 12 colon 7. And Elisha prayed for the Shunammite's child that was dead, and he was raised up to life, so he does not say he prayed him out of purgatory. And when Lazarus, that poor man, died, he was carried by angels into Abraham's bosom. And when the rich man died and was buried, in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom, he cried and said, Father Abraham have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from here to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would pass from there. 
Luke 16, 19 26. And now here you see, that when Lazarus died, he was carried by angels into Abraham's bosom, not into purgatory, who would have been glad of the rich hard hearted man's crumbs that fell from his table. And the rich man's dogs had more compassion of the poor man, in licking his sores, than he had. But when this rich man died and was carried into hell, neither Abraham nor Lazarus could go to him, nor help him out, nor he to them. So that neither Abraham nor Lazarus could relieve him there, not with so much water as would hang on the tip of his finger to cool his tongue. And Christ said to the thief upon the cross that was crucified with him, Verily I say unto you, Today shall you be with me in paradise. Luke 23 43 so he does not say, he should go into purgatory, to be purged, but as Abraham said to the rich man that was in hell, if they will not hear Moses and the prophets, they will not be persuaded if one rose from the dead. For these were the Jews to whom Christ spoke this parable, who set up their traditions, and made the word of God and his command of none effect, so they were not like to hear Moses and the prophets, who like the apostate Christians now, set up their vain traditions above the holy scriptures of Trud. H. And allow the ignorant people to read their traditions, and deny them the reading of the scriptures, contrary to the holy men of God that gave them forth, to be read, believed, fulfilled, and practiced, as in 2 Tim 3.16, John 7.38, Luke 24.25, 1 Thessalonians 5.27. Give attendance to reading, 1 Tim 4.13. And Christ exhorts his hearers to ask in his name, and whatever you shall ask the Father in my name, he shall give it you, as in John 16, 23-26. And again Christ teaches his disciples to pray, and say, Our Father who is in heaven. So that Christ never taught his believers to pray either to his mother, the Virgin Mary, in her name, or to any saint, or in the name of any saint after they were dead nor his apostles after him. And the apostle James said in his general epistle to the church of Christ, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask it of God, that gives to all men liberally. James 1 5 And John said in his general epistle to the church of Christ, If our hearts condemn us not, then we have confidence towards God. And whatever we ask we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things which are pleasing in his sight. 1 John 3 21 22. And again John said, This is the confidence that we have in God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 5 14 15. And it is said, Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the Lord. And also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit, the witch of Endur and inquired not of the Lord, and therefore he slew him. 1 Cron 10 13 14. And you read of such that set the counsel of the Lord at naught, and would have none of his counsel, and what was their end? PROV 1 25 26. And the Lord said, My people ask counsel at the stocks, who were gone a whoring from God. Hose 4 12. Were not these the Jews that followed their own traditions, and made the commands of God of none effect, like the apostate Christians that pretend to pray to saints that are dead, and for the dead, that set up so many images and kneel down before them, but hear what is said in Isa 30 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So here you may see what is the portion of all such that cover with a covering, but not of God's spirit. And ask counsel, but not of him.